come. So the other uh, great pleasure I have tonight is, um, is, is one of the honors of uh, the chair of Mediate BC is to announce the winner of the Susanna Yanni Award. And I am thrilled, and I don't use that word lightly, to, um, to announce this year's winner because his contribution to the field of mediation is far reaching. So I would like to announce that this year, the winner of the Susanna Yanni Award is Michael Lomax. Yay. So I'd like to introduce, I'd like to say a few words and, and, and as many of you know, the criteria for this, this award is a high bar and Michael's work and accomplishments have had no trouble reaching it. I won't be able to list all of his contributions to the practice of mediation, but I wanna highlight a few of them. He's been a lawyer who shifted his practice to mediation and collaborative law and became a teacher, trainer, and leader in this field. He has designed, taught, and delivered many workshops as well as conducting hundreds of mediations. He's worked at the BC Public Service to establish the Conflict Management Office and establish the West Coast Office of the National Defense's Workplace Conflict Management Program. He is an author and a speaker with the High Conflict Institute in California, as well as he served on the board of directors at Mediate BC and was a member of the roster committee. Everyone who knows Michael speaks of his generosity in sharing his knowledge and skills and his commitment to helping people access meaningful and transparent processes that can craft their own solutions in a respectful, supported manner. Congratulations, Michael. Right. Thank you so much, Julie, uh, for those great remarks. And, and thank you, Anne, for your big role in organizing the reception tonight and, and everything else going on this evening. So I just want to say a, a few words. Uh, first off, by my sincere thanks and appreciation to the Board of Directors of Media BC for uh, giving me this award. I'm truly grateful. And I was there for the inaugural award back in 2009 to Ron Tucker. And I I can say it, it really didn't cross my mind that this would be ever happening to me. And in 2010, Gordon Sloan was one of the recipients and he was the person who taught me my first mediation course. So who would have thought that, uh, you know, we'd come full circle here. And uh, uh, hopefully Gordon's okay with that and uh, feels good about it. Um, and as well, uh, just a, an excellent, uh, amazing list of previous recipients. I'm truly grateful to be, to be one of them now. Uh, my thanks to those that uh, nominated me and for sticking with it, your perseverance. I, I appreciate that too. And uh, a word about mentoring. I, I can say that a cr been critical to my success has been mentoring. And there's a number of folks over the years, and they know who they are, who really took an interest in my success, very generous with their time and their support. And I think without them, I would still be knocking at the door to some degree in this profession. And, and so my one of my messages might be, you know, we say to, to newer folks is find a mentor, but I would say to the more experienced folks is find someone to mentor. It is amazing how transformative that can be. And um, a very important thank you is to my wife, Tammy, who's just sitting off camera here. And if you're looking at any of my backdrop, please don't think I have anything to do with this. Uh, that was all Tammy. And it was not just been my support, but it really did push me from just talking about things you know, maybe on the couch one day, I'm going to, you know, get on with it, do it. And has really been my par partner in all of uh, my successes. Um, someone said to me once that, you know, for a career to be satisfying, you really need to love what you do. And you need to feel you're making the world a better place. And for me, the practice of mediation and the wider field of conflict resolution truly does that. It is so fascinating, so rich, exciting, and scary sometimes. And I think in a lot of ways, we really do contribute to the health and betterment of society. Um, and now more than ever uh, is our field needed. Whether it be coaching an individual, mediating with a separating couple, intervening in a toxic workplace, delivering a training, or volunteering with a nonprofit. Uh, this can be lonely work sometimes, and I've always found it so valuable to connect with other practitioners. And Mediate BC has been a great organization to support this. And now I work in the conflict management office with the BC Public Service, and I have the great privilege of collaborating with a team of passionate and highly skilled mediators and coaches who I can say are always challenging me to do better. Um, and as you know, I have a special interest in high conflict disputes. It's a fascinating area, very challenging, but so rewarding. 
and um, and the chance to collaborate with Bill Eddy on the book this summer, Mediating High Conflict Disputes, was uh, was really exciting. And um, someone, Bill, is someone that I've known over the last dozen years, and again, very generous with his time and his support. So um, just to say again, thank you to the Mediate BC Board of Directors. I'm truly grateful. And to all of you, I really hope you enjoy the reception and the conference. Thank you so much. <laughs>